Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are doing the Adobe Benchmark, Geekbench, CB Road Test, as well as the camera samples along with the video situation in this video. So guys, let's start from the Adobe Benchmark itself. So guys, the OnePlus Note CE2 scored 3,75,000 and you can see the CPU scores over here, it's around 1 lakh and uh, you can see the GPU scores, it's around 1 lakh 11,000 and you can see 83,000 is the memory and 72,000 is the UX scores and you can see approximately 3.4 degree of uh, temperature has been risen, so that's from 32 to 35 degree and 2% of yeah battery is being dropped now let me turn on the performance so that so that's the thing that most people would ask this uh, does this test done on the high performance mode so let me turn on the high performance mode so going to settings and uh, going to the advanced settings and upon here you can see high performance mode and turning on the high performance mode now let's uh, test again so you can see over here high performance uh, mode is turned on so let's uh, check the Adobe benchmark once again okay so let's come back after the results so guys in the high performance mode it's just touched the 4 lakh mark so you can see it's just touched the 4 lakh and you can see the cpu scores is 1 lakh 25000 and uh, the gpu is 1 lakh 17 and the memory is 83000 and the uvx is 81 so it's a light improvement if you compare with the normal mode versus the high performance mode you can see high performance mode is turned on so it's a um, improvement from the normal version and you can see the maximum potential of the um, dimensity 9 100 is approximately 4,74,000 so currently the maximum in the real time goat is 4 like just touch the 4 like okay so that's uh, regarding the Adobe benchmark so now let's uh, move to the Geekbench 5 so guys the Geekbench 5 and you can see uh, the performance mode is still on you can see high performance mode is on and uh, let's run CPU benchmark and let's check the scores So guys, the Geekbench 5 test is over and you can see the single core, it's 696 versus the multi-core is 1958. Okay, you can see the details over here, single core 696 and multi-core 1958. So now let's uh, switch to the CPU throttle test. So that's, let's check how much does the CPU throttle occurs uh, in uh, 50 minutes of continuously CPU throttle test. Uh, okay so let's before let's me go to the options and num automatically enter test after 50 minutes okay so let's start the CPU test so let's check how much consistent will the diamond CD 900 perform so let's check it out So guys the CPU throttle test is over and I would say for the first 10 minutes that means if the temperature is below 40 degrees Celsius the performance of the Diamond City 900 is super awesome so you can see the first that means up to the 10 minute with uh, temperature below 40 degrees the performance is was really stable I would say just 5 percentage drop in terms of performance but as the temperature go beyond 40 degrees you can see there is a major significant drop from this uh, green line to directly uh, to this pale yellow color so you can see it clearly 
so as the temperature go beyond 40 degrees it uh, drops the performance of the cpu that's why leading to the low performance over here so as detected it's 78 percentage uh, cpu will reduce 78 percentage of its maximum performance so if uh, this phone is capable of doing 100 tasks at a time so after 15 minutes it can only do 78 tasks at the time so i would say it's a nearly nice performance uh, from the diamond city 900 for the uh, first 10 minutes or beyond uh, or up to 40 degree mark 40 degree celsius the temperature the performance of the diamond city 900 is awesome but if you play games for continuously about 15 uh, to 20 or about 20 minutes then the temperature would automatically if in bgmi at all maybe it, if it go beyond 40 degree then the performance would be uh, so bad but up to the 40 degree mark the performance would be really awesome okay so you can see the graphs okay so now let's uh, move to the uh, camera samples as well as the video stabilization so the video stabilization would be on the video and in ultra study mode so you can see the ultra study so it would be done on that so let's go to the video stabilization as well as the camera samples So guys, that was OnePlus Note CE2 5G's benchmark test as well as CP throttle along with the video simulation and camera samples. So guys, that's all for today. Signing off, it's for Mania.